Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for Friday of the seventh week of Easter, May 21st, 2021. I'm Deacon Dennis Holly from Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Before we begin, let us take a moment to recognize that we are in God's presence. Let us begin as we begin all our prayers in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever, amen, alleluia. Lord, wash away my guilt, alleluia. Our first Psalm is Psalm 51 entitled, O God, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly, I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born. A sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the desert, then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your health. With the spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight burnt offering from me you would refuse my sacrifice a contrite spirit a humble contrite heart you will not spurn in your goodness show favor to zion rebuild the walls of jerusalem then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice holocaust offered on your altar glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit and heal our troubled conscience so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. Lord, wash away my guilt. Alleluia. Christ bore our sins in his own body as he hung upon the cross. Alleluia. Our canticle is taken from Jeremiah, entitled, The Lament of the People in War and Famine. Let my eyes stream with tears, day and night, without rest, over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people, over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the field, look, those slain by the sword, if I enter the city, look, those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest forage in a land they know. Have you cast Judah off completely? Is Zion loathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace to no avail, for a time of healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, spurn us not. Disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us and break it not. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Christ bore our sins in his own body as he hung upon the cross. Alleluia. Come into the Lord's presence singing for joy. Alleluia. Our second psalm is Psalm 100, entitled, The Joyful Song of Those Entering God's Temple. Cry out with joy to the earth. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. 
Come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God devoted to us as a Father, you created us as a sign of your power, and elected us your people to show your goodness. Accept the thanks your children offer, that all men may enter your courts, praising you in song. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Alleluia. Our reading this morning is taken from the Acts of the Apostles. The God of our fathers has raised up Jesus, whom you put to death, hanging him on a tree. He whom God has exalted at his right hand as ruler and savior is to bring repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. We testify to this. So too does the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those that obey him. Blessed among us today is Franz Jägerstatter, a conscientious objector and martyr who was born in 1907 and died in 1943. Franz Jägerstatter an Austrian peasant and devout Catholic, was executed for refusing to serve in the German army. Known in his village of St. Radegund as a man of honesty and principle, devoted to his family and his faith, he was also known as a fervent opponent of the Nazis. Nevertheless, his singular act of resistance came as a surprise. In 1943, when served with an induction notice, Franz turned himself in and announced his refusal to take a military oath. Before taking the stand, he had sought counsel from his parish priest and the local bishop. They had advised him to do his duty and serve his fatherland. But Franz believed the Nazis were a satanic movement and that any compromise represented a mortal sin. Yet he took consolation in the knowledge that not everything that this world considers a crime is a crime in the eyes of God. In prison, he spurned ongoing appeals to save himself, convinced that he could not prolong his life at the price of his mortal soul. Franz was beheaded on August 9, 1943, as an enemy of the state. For years, his story was little known beyond his family and fellow villagers. In time, however, the story of his solidarity witness spread, and he was recognized as a historic witness to conscience. His beatification in 2007 was attended by his widow and surviving children. His feast day is May 21st. This is a quote from Blessed Franz Jägerstatter. Neither prison nor chains nor sentence of death can rob a man of the faith and his own free will. God gives us so much strength that it is possible to bear any suffering, a strength for stronger, far stronger than all the might of the world. The power of God cannot be overcome. Our responsory, the Lord is risen from the tomb, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen from the tomb, alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon the cross for us, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus Christ died and is risen from the dead. Now he lives forever at the right hand of the Father, where he intercedes for us. Alleluia. Our canticle of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, 
free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Jesus Christ died and is risen from the dead. Now he lives forever at the right hand of the Father, where he intercedes for us. Alleluia. The response to our intercessions this morning is, God, in your compassion, turn to us. God of love, you alone redress wrong and bring about justice. In hope we pray, God, in your compassion, turn to us. Animate us to heed Pope Francis's prophetic call to care for the earth and one another. In hope we pray, God, in your compassion, turn to us. Keep peace, peaceful protesters safe and prosper work to bring justice, healing, and freedom to people of color across the globe. In hope we pray, God, in your compassion, turn to us. Come to the aid of those who suffer depression or experience sorrow. In hope we pray, God, in your compassion, turn to us. For Sacred Heart Catholic Church, for our priests, deacons, deacon candidates, for our parish ministers, our parish staff, for Sacred Heart Center, for all those who donate their time, talent, and treasure to our parish, but especially for all of our parishioners and those of our parishioners who may either be ill or who have passed away. In hope we pray, God, in your compassion, turn to us. Let us now pray the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray to his Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, in glorifying Christ and sending us your spirit, you open the way to eternal life. May our sharing in this gift increase our love and make our faith grow stronger. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And our prayer amid our COVID-19 epidemic, Jesus Christ, you travel through towns and villages, curing every disease and illness. At your command, the sick were made well. Come to our aid now in the midst of the global spread of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. Heal those who are sick with the virus. May they regain their strength and health through quality medical care. Heal us from our fear, which prevents nations from working together and neighbors from helping one another. Heal us from our pride, which can make us claim invulnerability to a disease that knows no borders. Jesus Christ, healer of all, stay by our side in this time of uncertainty and sorrow. Be with those who have died from the virus. May they be at rest with you in your eternal peace. Be with the families of those who are sick or have died. As they worry and grieve, defend them from illness and despair. May they know your peace. Be with the doctors, nurses, researchers, and all medical professionals who seek to heal and help those affected and who put themselves at risk in the process. May they know your protection and peace. Be with the leaders of all nations. Give them the foresight to act with charity and true concern for the well-being of the people they are meant to serve. Give them the wisdom to invest in long-term solutions that will help prepare for or prevent future outbreaks. May they know your peace as they work together to achieve it on earth. Whether we are home or abroad, surrounded by many people suffering from this illness or only a few, Jesus Christ, stay with us as we endure and mourn, persist and prepare. In place of our anxiety, give us your peace. Jesus Christ, heal us. May God send us the spirit of truth that we may live fully in Christ's love and bear Christ's peace to the world. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have a blessed weekend. Please continue to take care of yourself and each other, and may God be praised.